Hello, once again, this is Jonathan Miller with the Hometown Historian Channel. Today, we're going to tell the story of a very famous Polish war bear named Wojtek. It's spelled W-O-J-T-E-K, uh, but it is pronounced Wojtek. He uh, lived from 1942 to December of 1963, uh, where he passed away in Edinburgh Zoo in Scotland. Uh, Wojtek was a Syrian brown bear, and he was bought as a young cub. He actually was found at a railroad station in Hamadan, Iran, uh, by a young girl named Ivana. I'm sorry, that was Irena Boychevek. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. She was actually the great niece of famous uh, Polish war general. I'm not even going to attempt to butcher his name, but it's like really long and it's Polish. Um, and she actually uh, talked a young lieutenant into buying the bear. Uh, I was found by a young Iranian boy. I guess its mother had been shot by hunters, and he felt bad for the bear and brought it in. And uh, Irina took care of the bear for three months. They were Polish immigrants, or Polish refugees, I should say, that had been uh, evacuated into the Soviet Union when the Soviet Union and Germany had attacked Poland. And they were in Iran, and it was quite a bunch of people, but they were there for about three months. And eventually she gave the bear up uh, to the Polish army. Uh, and to be able to provide for the bear, they actually enlisted the bear as a private soldier in uh, the artillery and supply uh, company. And he, uh, that way they could feed him and take care of him. He was eventually became uh, a corporal. He was promoted because of all his hard work. He served with, I believe it was originally the second artillery, but it eventually turned into 22nd artillery supply. And uh, he served the whole way through. They went through, I think, Iran into Palestine, eventually into Egypt. And then they joined up with the British Army to uh, join in in the Italian campaign. And he served during the Battle of Monte Cassino. His service at that time was mainly moving artillery crates. And there is sort of, you know, whether some, certain things are true or not, but uh, which we'll go into here a little further talking about his human characteristics. But there was sort of some thought, did he actually carry artillery crates or not? But there was one uh eyewitness account that they talked about a British soldier saw this bear carrying artillery crates and they were normally would take three men to carry these but the bear would carry them it was pretty impressive feat and that's why he became a corporal but when they gave him to the army the Irina uh, Bokovic they had named him this Wojciech which in Slavic means I guess it's, it's sort of a derivative of another name but it means happy warrior uh, and it's a, it's a Slavic name is still common in Poland today. Uh, when Wojciech was young, still as a cub, he had problems swallowing, and they fed him uh, condensed milk from an old vodka bottle. He was also given fruit, marmalade, honey, and syrup, and he was quite fond of being rewarded with beer, which quickly became his favorite drink. Uh, he also uh, couldn't uh, avoid the morning coffee, and uh, he also apparently enjoyed cigarettes, either smoking them or chomping down on them and eating them. He sort of took on the personality of the soldiers that were with him and took care of them. So <coughs> they would, uh, they would, he would sleep with the soldiers when they were cold. He also got to the point where he would sit like a human, and when they marched, he would actually get up on his back feet and march with them. Uh, he was quite the attraction. The Allied commanders loved to come and see him as well as the soldiers. And, you know, he was a pet, but he was also, he was a soldier. I mean, he did many of the things the soldiers did with the drinking, smoking, wrestling. They taught him how to be a soldier, how to fight, and all those types of things. And uh, he sort of just fit in like one of, the, one of the boys. And by the time they got to the Battle of the Monte Cassino, he was up to about 200 pounds, and I think around, they said, about five feet tall. Um, now, the story goes in Monte Cassino, the Polish troops, they were actually sort of stuck and surrounded, and they needed artillery 
shells to wind out breaking down the defenses of this fort. And he actually, as you see the picture there, the story goes that they sent the bear and he went and walked across the field on his back legs, picked up an artillery box and brought it to him and thus saved the uh, Polish troops there and helped the uh, Allied forces wind out winning that battle. Now, once again, how much of this is true, how much is, is fable, we really will never know. But he actually has become the emblem, a uh, bear carrying artillery shell of the 22nd Artillery uh, Unit. He uh, wound out, uh, he wound out continuing going with these troops uh, for the rest of the war. And eventually, as they went to Scotland, he. Uh, the Polish people wanted to go back home, and he had also suffered a lot of, we see in war, PTSD, and he just sort of, like, it traumatized him a lot. So they decided the best place for him to be would be in a zoo. So he was put in this Edinburgh Zoo, and uh, apparently over time, you know, he had the human traits, but he also, unlike a human, he didn't have a way of really dealing with the trauma of everything he went through and he sort of became pretty violent now they continued to take care of him but it was very hard they had to be very very careful with him uh, eventually though uh, he grew to I think it was about 1100 pounds probably seven or eight feet tall when he stood on his hand uh, back legs and as you see uh, the statue here this is these were all over Warsaw all over Poland Scotland and uh in, in commemoration of what this bear did. It's just a shame, like he died 21 years old in 1963, just a natural causes, but it was sort of a sad end for everything that he gave, and that had to be confusing for the bear as well. But this is the story of Wojtek, the Polish war bear and a hero, and just a really neat story to tell. Thanks everybody, and we'll see you about town.